Hello guys, in this video we will explore the differences between Eloquent and Query Builder in Laravel. I was asked a few times what is the difference, what to use better. So Eloquent model or DB table, because they seem to return the same thing or similar thing and how to choose. And we will measure the performance here in this video and take a look at the eloquent advantages. For performance measure, I will use a tool called Spite Array. I have a separate video review of that. It's not a free tool, but it's awesome. And I will link that in the description below. I'm not affiliated and I don't get paid for that, but I just use it myself. You can use something like Laravel Debug Bar or Telescope or others. But basically, you measure the time before doing something and after, and you will see the results. For the setup, I have a database of products and categories with 10,000 products seeded and categories, 100 categories. So it's not a huge amount, but roughly enough to feel the difference. And if we load that page for the first time, what it shows to us, total time 117 milliseconds and 10 megabytes of memory. So that is with Eloquent. If we uncomment Query Builder and comment Eloquent and refresh the page, See the difference. We are querying the same thing, but Query Builder is twice as fast and uses less memory. Of course, this test is not that realistic, so we're kind of comparing apples to oranges a little bit. But so that you would understand, let's add Ray Show Queries, I think it is the syntax, and let's refresh that again. So we have one query on Query Builder, so select an inner join, and if we have eloquent let's get it back refresh see we have query for eager loading and also have select star from products so it's two queries instead of one and also this query is a bit slower to process so these are the reasons why query builder is faster than eloquent but if this was the only result then people wouldn't even use eloquent right so what are the advantages of using eloquent if you have Eloquent with relationship, you can use that relationship in the results. So what I was saying that Eloquent and Query Builder return similar results, not that similar because Eloquent comes with additional power what you can do after the results. So you can do something like for each of the products, refer to category name just by this readable, very readable line of code. And if we launch that, Yes, the query is a bit slower, but it's much nicer to use. And here I've listed more advantages. Let's go through them one by one. So accessors. With Query Builder, you cannot do something like that. So for example, you want to have price in cents, and for that you create in the model here function called get price in sense attribute so that you can do only with eloquent next soft deletes also if you want to add deleted at it's really easy in eloquent just add soft deletes here with query builder you would have to edit all the queries wherever that query builder exists and then add where deleted at or something then scopes with eloquent you may have something like scope expensive and then do product expensive wherever it is used also if you use query builder then you would have to change that condition in every query builder instead of one place in eloquent model also there's more magic method that eloquent contains something like for example with count is inside of eloquent but it's not inside of query builder then what if you have to rename the table for example in this case we have product categories but what if you want to rename that or products to i don't know my products for example then you have to rename it everywhere in all database queries in all query builders instead of model in model you just do table equals whatever you want new table name and probably the final and the most important argument is readability so these are really simple examples but if the query gets more complicated, then Eloquent query is much more readable for any developer than huge query builder queries with a lot of joins. Of course, those joins or similar joins are actually happening under the hood when you launch Eloquent query. But that's the whole beauty. Eloquent is kind of a more simple language, more simple syntax to perform data manipulation. And what queries are happening under the hood, it's kind of hidden from the eye which makes the code more readable. So in conclusion, you should use Query Builder only in those cases where performance is more important than readability and when you don't use any of those eloquent features that I've just mentioned. So example like export CSV, where you need 10,000 of rows to be exported without any eloquent, so this would run faster. 
or specific report where performance is important, but mostly for general like CRUD functionality or database management functionality, Eloquent is more elegant, more readable, and performance impact is not that high. What do you think? Do you have any cases or examples where I'm possibly wrong here by advising Eloquent? Have you had any cases where you needed to switch from Eloquent to Query Builder or vice versa? Shoot in the comments. And if you want more videos like this one, I've even renamed the channel to Laravel Daily from Laravel Business, so I am shooting that daily. So subscribe to the channel and get the bell button clicked so you would be notified by email of new videos. And support to the channel by checking out one of the three products that our team has. The links are on the screen. See you guys in other videos.